good morning. It's a new day. We are at the church and I wanted to explain to you a little bit about expeditions. So we have a Kingdom Journeys team that went ahead of us and went and made contacts in Guyana. But this is actually, we're the first World Race team who's ever been working with this church. And so we're hoping to just make this a partnership that will last so that other World Race teams um, can come behind us. So we're just kind of figuring things out as we go and today we have a um, healing service and then I think something else tonight so I'm just gonna vlog it and show you what it is. God, who you are, for you are the rose of Sharad, for you are the lily of the valley, and you are the bright and morning star. We bless your name, Heavenly Father. To break every chains, to break every chains, break every chains. You know, invite the team, let us, let them tell us the name. And um, God says, Joshua, you're going to lead these people into the promised land. And so many times I think we forget the promises that the Lord has given us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it took them 40 years before they see that prom or saw that promise. Walk in the natural. And I truly believe that God has called us to walk in the supernatural. Believe God for the impossible. See things through the eyes of God. Be we take taxis to get home and the last person group had the keys so we have been sitting in the sun burning and now we're deciding to climb the fence we are making lunch tomato soup grilled cheese don't worry we're going to make a world race cookbook for all you people because we're finally figuring out this budget and we're cooking really well Hi. Hey, so I guess I didn't explain what we're doing. Um, this is our little team. We divided into four teams of three and then like the little house church meeting you saw last night, there are meetings all over the city. So we are going to be doing that throughout the next 10 days. So this is Sister Fiona and she Hi. is being the sweetest person alive right now, blessing us. Look at this, she's messing with my dirty feet and painting them. It's like, I love to do this, wow, this is the best feet ever. <laughs> Whether it's yes. sitting, standing, kneeling, laying face down on the ground, whatever way you worship the Lord, um, he's pleased with. deliverance service this morning um, and we were singing break every chain and that kept repeating repeating break every chain and so I started asking the Lord okay what chains do you want to break so he came down to us got up on that cross and died because he loves you and you should know deep deep in your heart that he would have got up on that cross if he knew that you were the only one that would ever accept him. Hey, I am going to end the vlog today by showing you around the house that we're staying at. So our host church actually has two locations and we take taxis to get to the church and the house stations and everywhere else that we go. Um, but we're actually living on our own in a house a little bit away. So I'm going to show you around. This is our gate with lions and over here 
is where we hold some services. You may have seen that already. This is Neil's tent. He moves it just about every night. He finally got sick of getting eaten by mosquitoes as well. And then, in here, oh, we have some people doing yoga. And it is this really big room where we like to play the game Bodies, 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 where you turn off all the lights and then someone pretends to be a killer and it's really creepy and fun. This is our laundry. We burn some of the trash. And in here, we have our kitchen. Look at this family table. There's Chrissy. Coming out here, we have some people who set up some hammocks. Morgan's having a quiet time. We wash our clothes. There's usually a bucket there. Got some plants and some outdoor bathrooms. And then there is an entire upstairs. Look at how nice this is. We're so grateful to have our own home. This is our socializing area of wonders. It is our porch upstairs with a gorgeous view, sunrise, hammocks, and then Hannah and I sleep in our tents, no malaria. And in here we have a bathroom and a shower. And in here we have all of our little rooms with bunk beds. And finally, last but not least, we have our own living room. More quiet times. So, yeah, that is a tour of our home. I hope you're enjoying our time here in Guyana. We um, just have really adjusted and love this country, have a heart for it, and just want to encourage you to keep praying for the people here. I will see you soon. Bye.